Hi Gemini, and I welcome to your November 2021 He Said She Said reading. Thanks for joining us. My name is Michelle. My name is Richard. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Doing a dual reading, either side can resonate, so please do keep that in mind. You get to decide who's who here. Let's take a look at uh, your oracles for the month of November, Gemini. Pounce, getting ready to act. Look at this cute little pussycat here. He's uh, he's uh, flying through the air, ready to pounce on uh, probably some prey there. He seems to be having fun with it as well, so I'm not sure what this is about. Uh, but uh, Richard's pulled a card, or a couple of cards actually. Yeah, compassionate and empowered. It could be your energy too, Gemini. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. It feels like pouncing on an opportunity, mm. perhaps uh, you're feeling empowered, feeling really good about it. Mm. Uh, perhaps you're doing so with compassion towards another, but let's see uh, what this is about, Gemini. I've already meditated on your energy, so let's get these cards down. We'll start with past energy, move on to the present, the near future, your advice, what's happening in your environment, hopes and fears, the potential outcome, what's hidden or unexpected, and the overall energy. Okay, past, present, future, advice, environment, hopes and fears, outcome, what's hidden or unexpected, and the overall energy. Okay, let's take a look here, uh, Jam. Judgment, okay, yeah. I get this is like a, I do get reconciliation here guys, that it feels like um, an opportunity uh, deciding to, uh, yeah, deciding to take an opportunity to perhaps reconcile. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, so I think this person over here is really just more interested in, in their work, um, so that's their overall energy, is they've, they've thrown themselves into work past we have the four of pentacles well that's very much a stubborn kind of energy um, what I'm getting around that it does feel a bit like um, wanting to keep one self safe uh, protection safe from harm uh, focusing more on uh, self uh, not wanting to let people in In the, in the past, we've got the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, I, I see that as somebody, I suspect, well, you, Taurus, actually. Uh, well, actually, no, it's sorry. <laughs> We're doing Gemini. No, no, that's right. But a it Taurus, could be a Taurus. Let's, so say, let's say it is a Taurus. Yeah. Uh, a, a Taurus, perhaps, who was not their best self, but it doesn't have to be a Taurus. could be someone with... Um, strong uh, Earth. Strong Earth in their sign, something like mm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I, I feel like that person's working on self-empowerment. Uh, which was obviously missing in the past. Uh, let's see. Three of Cups. Yeah, I, I do get reconciliation uh, coming together. Uh, let's not take it too seriously. Yeah, but the Two of Cups. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like it is the possibility of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and see what's in the near future. We've got the King of Swords. Oh, sorry, the mm -hmm. Knight. Excuse me. The Knight of Swords in the reverse okay so it's interesting i've got gemini i've got you here at the moment uh, surrounding yourself with uh, with friends uh, going out uh, socially uh, there's a possibility of reconciliation uh, with this person uh, but i get a holding back it may be this individual uh, it could even be you, Gemini, because this is your card uh, where something is not expressed. Uh, truth needs to come out. And we do have the Four of Wands here uh, indicating, wow, with this Two of Cups, that you know, there is some sort of future here. Mm, let's see. Advice, Four of Wands. So it does seem like there is an opportunity. Uh, yeah, I get... Uh, well, I'm picking that up as celebration only because we have also have the Three of Cups. It feels like a milestone, like uh, we've made it a certain level, uh, we've made it to a certain point. 
advice we've got the nine of cups in the reverse so uh, having having fun in the moment is what I get with that card and uh, not not trying to think too far into the future in the environment we've got the ace of wands in the reverse the energy that I'm picking up around this is that there's been a delay of some kind, some frustrations, uh, things having not worked out. It may have started off with a lot of uh, passion, uh, but then something may have happened where that passion cooled for a time. And over here we've got the Ten of Cups in the environment. Uh, so the, I think you see that as a possibility. If if uh, if that's a if that can happen in the long in the long term. Let's have a look at the hopes and fears here, Gemini. Page of Swords. So it seems like you're uh, you're watching. I uh, get watching from a distance. Maybe watching uh, this person's social media, uh, checking to see what's going on with them. It it seems um, well. What I'm picking up here, guys, is that uh, this person is healing. I am getting you deciding to act. Okay. It feels like you're going to decide to act after you see this person. Um, well, it's that old thing of uh, uh, something escaped from you, but then once you see it possibly being wanted by another, uh, you value it more. Um, so I'm kind of getting that. Uh, so it seems like that, uh, Gemini, again, it could be you, could be the other way around. But I feel like um, you're watching this person, you're seeing them, with somebody else uh, with that ten of cups four of wands two of cups i feel that that's somebody else but you're watching them and you're deciding to act because of what you're seeing you're seeing them with someone else i think they're kind of stirring up a little bit of a jealousy here um, gemini hmm. now we've got temperance in reverse here as uh, as the as the fear yeah, and you know, it's lack of balance. What's hidden? The Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel that that's you. You're watching this person. Uh, watching, the, yeah, I get you watching them with somebody else. Yeah, competition with the Five of Wands mm -hmm. as what's hidden. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And the outcome here is the Seven of Swords. Yeah, uh, I get you wanting to take get this person back. I mean, not not in a revenge kind of way, but you want them back. And it's strategy, isn't it? With you want this person one. back because you feel that they're with someone else. Yeah, and then we've got the Eight of Cups here. Now, it could be that this person might leave the other person for this person, or they might leave they might leave this they might leave you, Gemini, for this other person. I don't know which way that's going to go. Mm. We'll see that in the extended reading interesting reading here guys yeah you know it seems like things are really hot and heavy here for a while you felt like okay you felt like you were uh, that you had a hold of this situation but you lost control of it and now you want that control back, which is interesting because I just recently uh, put up a video for um, October in the general Gemini, and it was called Total Control. And it was a, uh, you might want to go back and, and, and listen to that again, because I feel like I'm talking to a Gemini here who uh, thought they had control over this situation, come to find out they didn't. And they desperately kind of want to get it back now. I get this is like um, stealing from another. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so I get two, possibly two feminine energies here. One person who thought that they, they had it in, in yeah. It, it's very... Um, well, with this Knight of Swords in reverse, I get this is very reactionary. Uh, reacting to something you saw, something that you heard, something that you saw on social media, and deciding to act. It's, it's reactive, that's what I'm getting. Making that call, okay. And you seem to want this person now, Gemini, whereas before, I'm getting, you didn't? Yeah, it, well, it's a little bit like that, um, well, 
this I, I don't know I, do I think that that person was gosh I don't know I don't think that they were trying to make you jealous it may have been a uh, a byproduct or, or, or some might have you know it's a general reading guys uh, you'll have to, to look into that further in a personal reading uh, but there does seem to be Gemini I'm not sure if they know you're a jealous person or if you've kept that well hidden but it seems like uh, there's some kind of strategy involved around this of uh, possibly making one jealous and causing another to act uh, wow okay well let's see in any case it seems to have the desired effect Gemini now if you're the, you're, if you're saying to yourself look I don't get jealous what are you talking about Michelle it could be the other way around okay that this person is trying to make you jealous um, so let's take a look what is the message here for Gemini please spirit Okay, let's take a look at that one. Okay, meditation, dreams, spiritual escape. A jester rests atop a magical box prop. Her costume, a nightcap and slippers. Rest and escape, dream catches. Capturing her drifting elusive imagination. Okay, be wary of dreams and interpreting them falsely. All right, so that's what I'm picking up here. Something that you saw, interpreting it falsely and acting as a result of that. Okay, all right. Okay, something that you saw, you misinterpreted it. And, okay. Something that's in your imagination all right you know what i'm getting around this gemini is that it seems like this is someone who is an ex you misinterpreted this person in some way and you you're still misinterpreting them i feel that what you're viewing what you're looking on at you don't have a good grasp of what it is i'm getting that but you're acting i get you acting on it but you're acting on a misinterpretation Oh, wow. Um, you know, it's a tough one, Gemini. We'll have to look into this more in the extended reading. Uh, I feel that all that person is doing, what do you think, Richard, that they're just trying to uh, heal themselves? Heal themselves. That's all they're doing. And they're not, actually not even really concerned Yeah. Uh, about what's going on with, with you, Gemini. So that's what they're doing, but it seems like you've you've built it up in your mind as something, something else. else. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that is, but it, it's not great um, with all of this swords energy. It feels like uh, something needs to be cleared up here. Mm. Uh, we'll look into it further in the extended Gemini. I hope that you join us there. The link will be down below in the uh, descriptions box. Or uh, if you are a member of the channel, you can view it if you're at the uh, extended level access. And that's my band of gypsies. Ways that you can join, uh, click on the join button or look in the box below. Uh, please do, uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Or you can go to my Etsy shop and purchase directly there. And Gemini, please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button. Leave us a comment down below. And if you're a newcomer, please do subscribe. It really does mean the, the world if you would do that, guys. Uh, small way, a seemingly small way to, uh, uh, to interact with the channel and boost my viewership. So if you'd like to do that, uh, please do. I'd be so appreciative. So Gemini, let's talk about this more because I, I feel like um, there's something that you're thinking... Um, that is, is just completely off base guys it's off base uh, it, it may be throwing you off a little bit here and causing you to act in a way that is normally not something you would normally do but uh, let's talk about it more in the extended wishing you the best Gemini we'll see you in part two or we'll speak to you again very soon thanks Gemini goodbye and good luck